Good morning, Pomeri. My name is Sharifah Patricia Mithidris and I'm the leader of my group. My group consists of four people, including me, which is um, Kasina, Shamita, Barsha, and me, myself. So, the next video you're going to watch is a video that we're going to talk about our previous project that you signed us before. It's from chapter 3 talking about movement of substance across the plasma membrane and its application in daily life. Basically, in that video, we will be talking about our end product, uh, product sorry, and also our findings. So, I really hope you will be looking forward for this. And thank you. Have a great day. Hi, Pan Marie. I'm Kazlina. So today we will be learning about the application of movement of substances across the plasma membrane. First of all, what is pickle? Pickle is a relish consisting of vegetables or fruits preserved in a vinegar or brine. So today I'll be making pickled mangoes and the materials that we need are obviously unripe mangoes, salt, sugar, asam boy and chilies which are optional. The first step is to mix the asam boy with the sugar. And then the second step is to put the unripe mangoes and all the ingredients in a big bowl. The third step is to mix them together and put it in a container. Lastly, store it in the fridge for about 4 to 5 hours. But how does pickle has to do with biology? As I said earlier, we will be learning about the application of movement of substances across the plasma membrane. The reason why pickle can be preserved for a long time is because in, uh, water inside the pickle has been removed. This happens when the pickle is uh, stored in a liquid full of salt and sugar. Then this liquid will turn into a solution uh, and the solution is called hypertonic solution. The hypertonic solution has to be more solid than the inside of the cell of the pickle. This will cause the this will cause in a higher water potential um, than the inside of the cell of the pickle. The difference in water potential will cause osmosis to occur where the water will move from an area of high water potential to an area of low water potential. The removal of water will also cause the food to shrink after being, after being pickled. That's why pickles are often smaller than the original size and also can be kept in the storage for a longer period of time. Yeah, that's it. Bye! Thank you! Stay safe! Good morning to my bio teacher, Puan Mary. Today I'm going to be talking about the project that we did earlier this year which is applying the concept of movement of substances across the plasma membrane. I made pickled cucumbers, so uh, the objective was the objective of uh, conducting this research was to study how the movement of substances can occur in a plant cell by using cucumber and brine. Uh, the brine which I made consists of mostly vinegar, sugar, um, salt and turmeric powder. I'm going to go through the procedure very quickly. Um, first and foremost, I cut the cucumbers into thin and even slices and then I mixed it with salt and placed it into the fridge for about 3 hours or so. Secondly, while the, while the cucumbers were in the fridge, I prepared the brine and brought it to a boil. Once the um, brine was uh, prepared, I poured, in, I poured it into the container by submerging the cucumbers completely. And then I placed the cucumbers back into the fridge for another few hours. As a result, firstly I want to talk about the cucumbers that I mixed with salt. Uh, this was before I placed it into the refrigerator and this was after. As you can see, there's excess water gathered at the end of the container. And as for the cucumber itself, this was before I submerged it into brine and this is after. Uh, now I mainly want to talk about is the effect of osmosis on this whole uh, experiment. The pickled cucumbers shrinks due to the effect of osmosis. Um, as you saw in the result just now, there's excess water gathered at the end of the container. Why that happens is because salt is drawn out from the cucumber. The salt causes the water to be drawn out from the cucumber. Water is drawn to it because it goes from a high uh, water concentration to a low water concentration, which is also known as diffusion. Uh, osmosis is a process which involves, I mean sorry, os osmosis is a type of diffusion that involves a semi-permeable membrane which exists in the cells of the cucumber that allows the water to go through and not the salt. 
This is known as an effect of the plant cell being submerged in a hypertonic solution where the water diffuses out from the vacuole by osmosis. Uh, the vacuole and the cytoplasm shrinks and this causes the plasma membrane to be pulled away from the cell wall and this process is known as plasmolysis. Um, as a conclusion, the hypothesis from earlier is accepted which is the food production industries apply the concept of fermentation to prolong the shelf life of its food. So yeah, that's all for me. Thank you. Good morning for Mary. My name is Sharifa and I'm from For Phoenix. So uh, today I will be explaining about my end results from previous project. Pickling is a process of delaying the molding of food that were invented by us humans back the days. Today I will be showing you some pictures uh, throughout the journey of me making the pickled cucumber and this is where I put the cucumber inside the jar, powdered chili, crystal salt and also I put some sugar in it just to make sure it's not too spicy and these are my um, pr end product which is very successful and also some proof that my product was eaten by someone which is my mom and also some picture before um, I did it, just a preparation that I did. Um, based on my finding, two concepts were applied in order to complete the pickling form, which happens to be first, osmosis. Because in order to make sure the brain is fully absorbed by the cucumber, we must poke hole in it. As we all know, osmosis is a process we call as passive transport of water across a selective permeable membrane in order to reduce the concentration difference of a solute between um, two uh, between concentrate and permeate solution which is in my case called as brine that is separated by membrane. Second process involved will be hypertonic. Hypertonic like I said earlier, when the cucumber are placed in the brine solution, which we also call as hypertonic solution, water will diffuse out of the vacuole through osmosis. Vacuoles and cytoplasm of cucumber will shrink as plasma membrane will be pulled away from a cell wall. I said it will shrink, that's why this cucumber will obtain a sort of a bumpy kind of skin yeah and it will be a size smaller and also the taste will be more towards acidic and the skin will turn into a lighter shade of green yeah though it appears to be in irregular shape a successful pickled cucumber will still be crunchy as plasmolysis plant regain its turgidity when it is written to a hypertonic solution Hi um, overall i think the project is a huge success Thanks to everyone who gave me guidance, especially you. So that's all from me. Thank you. Hi, my name is Varsha and I'm from For Phoenix. And today I'm going to be talking about an experiment that I conducted to show the concept of the movement of substances across a plasma membrane. So to show this concept in daily life, it is most frequently used in pickling. So for this experiment, I decided to make a mango pickle. So for this mango pickle, I used these ingredients, which is salt, sugar, and vinegar, and unripe mango, and some chili flakes. So I put vinegar, salt, sugar into a pot, and boiled it, and then poured that solution into a jar containing a cut mango and chili flakes. I then sealed the jar and left it over a course of six days and observed it. So I took a picture for each day to show the changes. This is day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, and day six. So as you can see, on day six, a considerable amount of the solution had reduced. And this is because of osmosis and diffusion. Osmosis is the movement of water molecules through a semi-permeable membrane Water will move from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. 
in this case being the high concentration area of high concentration being the solution the brine that we made and the low concentration area of low concentration being the mango so on the other hand diffusion is the movement of solutes like salt and dissolved sugar from a high solute concentration to a low solute concentration yeah so basically by brining and pickling through diffusion and osmosis in this experiment we can alter the properties of food such as the water balance which you can see had reduced the water balance of food product will be altered by osmosis the taste and flavor which can be altered by diffusion which will cause the movement of odorants and testins which is the taste and flavor from and to the food product and the texture and color which can which can be altered by chemical reactions and the shelf life which will be lengthened because the environment that will be created will be inhospitable for food pathogens and that's why this method is used everywhere around the world because of the lengthened shelf life so anyway this is the application of the movement of substances across a plasma membrane in daily life proven through this experiment Thank you.